Hi everyone, I'm Mara Tapuzian, President and CEO of Troy Chamber of Commerce, and we're here for another episode of Inside Corporate Troy. And I'm here at Chemical Bank with the regional president, Jim Robinson. Jim, thanks for coming out to Troy today and chatting with us about Chemical Bank. Appreciate sure. you doing that. Absolutely, thanks how, for having us. How long have you been with uh, Chemical? So I've been with the bank just a little over seven months now, okay. so relatively recent. Found um, out where all the bathrooms are and all the banks. Got all that everything. figured out, yes. Good, good, yes. good, good. So, you're home free. Yes, yeah, perfect. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's been very exciting uh, just to be over here um, these last few months and yep. uh, been in the industry for a long time and in Southeast Michigan, but okay. uh, just came over um, from another bank and just uh, really excited to be a part of this team and we have lots of exciting things going on in this marketplace. So talk about the transition. I think that's probably everyone's first question, Chemical sure. Bank. Maybe not everyone has heard of Chemical Bank, we certainly have, um, but talk about the transition from Talmer to Chemical. Yes. Yeah, so a lot of people in this region would have known us as Talmer Bank and Trust, and yep. uh, that was started up about six or seven years ago uh, now, and uh, was just a great story of growing it really from um, a zero and a startup mm -hmm. up, up until where it was, was, which is about six or seven billion of assets when uh, Chemical acquired it. So that acquisition closed last year um, in August of 16. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's worked out really good. So Chemical Bank, again, in this region, um, it, people don't know that name quite as well. Right. But it's 100 years old this year, actually. Okay. We're very proud of that, Great. that on March 14th, it celebrated, um, we celebrated our 100th anniversary. Nice. And uh, so really throughout the entire state of Michigan, besides Southeast Michigan, Chemical, you would see bank branches. Uh, if you visit you know, rural towns throughout the state, you will see it all over. Um, but luckily with the, so the footprints matched up very nicely between what was Talmer, which was Southeast Michigan, and then down into okay. Ohio, over through Cleveland. But that footprint did not cross over with Chemical. So we were right. able to put two very nice sized banks that had sort of a similar focus on customer service. And so those cultures matched up pretty well. And so you put the two companies together, we're now 18 billion of assets. Um, but the nice part for us, just because we're very focused on relationship banking, is we still act and feel like a much smaller bank than that. Our okay. size has just kind of come on quickly to us of putting the banks together. But if you um, really go to our roots, it's really about the relationships and going into branches where people know you and, and yeah. um and loan officers know you very well. So th that part feels yeah. very good. And that's something that's kind of come back, it seems, for a lot of banks. I, I remember, and I've told the story a million times that, um, uh, and I won't mention the bank's name, but an, ol an older bank, and when I was a kid and uh, didn't know how to manage my money, certainly the branch manager would call me up and say, you know, Ara, you've overdrafted, you know, and I was a high school student. And <laughs> they, di they didn't, you know, they don't call you since then. Right. Um, and that particular bank never, you know, you just got the notice in the mail that says uh, you're, you're overdraft. Yes. So, but that's, but that model of being that sort of hometown type bank sort of went away for a little bit, but it but it seems like that that's kind of come back. So that's obviously important for Chemical Bank. It is, yeah, absolutely. So at 18 billion, we are the largest bank headquartered in Michigan. Okay. Yep. So very proud. I mean, I think this area in the Midwest sort of values um, enjoy that you have sort of a local leader. And so with that, we are the, the largest bank headquartered in Michigan. Um, headquarters are in Midland. Yep. Um, but really, Southeast Michigan here, and this is our, we're sitting today in our Troy sort of headquarters, which is yep. our Southeast Michigan um, uh, group, and this is our largest group of people in Southeast Michigan. We probably have approximately 300 people in this building. Wow, um, okay. Which is great, so right yeah. here on Big Beaver, right in the middle of Troy, yep. and, um, and then throughout Southeast Michigan, we have about 500 colleagues. Okay. Um, but with that, this area represents about 25% of the entire bank in terms of assets. So okay. it is the single biggest market. Um, why do you think that is? Why, well, why, is really, that Im why is Troy important? Well, uh, Troy here, I mean, there are obviously uh, a number of businesses here, mm -hmm. Oakland County. We all, I think, have a pretty good feel for the affluency mm -hmm. of the area. A uh, number of business owners, a uh, number of professionals with attorneys and CPAs, investment bankers. Right. Uh, and so this area is really um, dense with yeah. those sorts of people that you like to build relationships with. 
But we're also uh, very proud that we have 21 banking centers spread throughout Southeast Michigan. We go really as far as Ann Arbor in this area. Okay. That's the region that I control and, right. and lead. Uh, and then we go over to Mount Clemens on the east side, and then we have a number of them in between. So really being wow. immersed in those communities is very important. Again, this is our largest sort of cluster of people just to have sort of a concentration. Right. Um, but all of the regions are important to us. So here, if I come to you as somebody that doesn't know Chemical Bank or didn't know Talmer, tell me what sort of differentiates Chemical Bank from the other banks. Yeah. I think what you'll get here is we're very, again, focused on relationships. Mm -hmm. And so um, having one point person that is your point of contact, not an 800 number, uh, not a website, you will get you know, sort of high touch um, right. customer service. So that's really what we pride ourselves on. Um, another big part for us is, again, partly because we're still a relatively small bank in the grand mm -hmm. scheme of things, is it's a very entrepreneurial organization. Okay. So we're able to be very nimble. We make decisions pretty quickly. We have very common loan, uh, regular loan committee meetings. Mm -hmm. um, and we're able to get back to people quickly. Right. We can keep you up to date. Um, and people like that. I mean, at the end of the day, you sure. know, when it takes you 30 or 60 days, maybe right. at uh, another organization just to get an update, yeah. maybe not even an answer. Right. You know, in that time, we can have an answer, be ready for a closing. Um, and you would get that with really all of our colleagues. You know, we have people certainly here in the branch in retail. Mm -hmm. We have our commercial lending. We certainly have deposits for businesses and consumers. We do a lot of work with nonprofit organizations, uh, okay. a lot of those in Oakland County as well that are doing great work. Yep. Um, and for us, that's also another important uh, yeah. initiative for us is that we volunteer lots of hours Oh. and also dollars yep. to support them. Those are important and we want yep. to be a good corporate citizen that way. So we have across the whole company, we have 3,500 employees. And uh, each year, actually this mm. will be the fifth year that Chemical Bank on Columbus Day, which is in early October, yep. that normally that is a um, federal uh, granted bank holiday where right. people don't come into work right. generally. But what we've done is we actually have everybody, we volunteer at organizations throughout our communities. Oh, nice. And so that day we will have, you know, 3,500 people strong at different organizations throughout oh, the, the entire state and into Ohio and just supporting lots of great organizations with our time. Oh, that's great. Well, yeah. you guys have always been very supportive to Troy Chamber, and we've got a large nonprofit network, and you folks have been involved with that too. So that's yeah, that's uh, very that's very cool to hear. Talk a little bit about the entrepreneurial services, and so you know here, as you said, it's a it's a dense population, uh, highly corporate uh, area, uh, but a number of smaller businesses as well. What are some of the popular services or, or needed services you're seeing these companies or small business owners looking for? Yeah, sure. I mean, the, the, the great part about that sort of part of the market is we can be a full relationship to them. Mm -hmm. And by that, I mean, certainly we have all of the services that a business would need from right. loans, deposit, cash management. Um, and then we very much like to build relationships with owners and key employees as well. Okay. And so what that would kind of translate into is certainly any personal lending or deposit needs that they have. But we also have a very strong residential mortgage business okay. where we're you know helping people uh, buy their first home. Yep. Maybe it's not their first home, another right. home. Um, vacation homes, um, remodeling with home equity yeah. products, things like that. And then we also have a wealth management platform where okay. we are certainly trying to work with our business owners to help them uh, create their dreams. And sometimes that is diversifying their wealth outside of the company. Okay. And then they can invest that money in whether it be in the market or different sort of investment strategies. And so we have a team, we have a regional manager here in Southeast Michigan that mm -hmm. works with our clients on that. And so that's just the whole sort of entrepreneurial yeah. feel is we're trying to take the 360 degree view of sure. the customer and look at them certainly not as a not just as a business owner but as a person. They have families, they have um, you know legacies that they mm -hmm. may be looking to leave behind. So we want to work with them through really the full scope 
uh, right. of their life. I'm hoping to leave debt behind to my children. <laughs> That's going to be pretty much my legacy with things. But, but that kind of leads into a very interesting, you know, I've always said that banks are barometers to the economy. And you really kind of touched on a lot of different things. And what sort of sparked that was sort of, you know, people remodeling their homes or moving. How do you see the economy as a banker? Where, where do you see us going and how's, how's the market? Yes, well, we've been on a pretty nice run. I think, you know, most people uh, would feel that, you know, this is now to the you know, middle of 2017. We really kind of came out of the economic recession somewhere in the middle of 2010. Right. So it's been, you know, kind of seven years, pretty good. And, um, you know, we're seeing a lot of our business owners that are doing very well. And, you know, for us, that's great opportunities to help people expand their businesses, to right. grow their businesses. Um, and then again, for us, whether we're loaning them some money or they're making enough money or they're becoming more of a deposit customer, that business is very important to us. Yeah. Okay. So what's future for Chemical Bank? So w our plan is to absolutely continue to grow. So okay. very proud of our heritage of the 100 year history. Right. And now being in this marketplace, I mean, Southeast Michigan is, you know, where the sort of dominant share of the money and, and wealth is in the state. Right. Um, and we continue to invest here. Our plan would be probably in the not so distant future, maybe to continue to make acquisitions that make strategic sense for us. Okay. At 18 billion of assets, certainly our plan is to continue to grow that, right. but still keep that relationship focus, yeah. that sort of small bank feel that people know what they can count on us for. Well, you guys have done a terrific job. You guys are great partners with us, and we wish you all the success. And certainly, as we always tell our members, we're here for you. So we appreciate it. Thanks, Jim, for taking the time today. Great. Thank you for having me. That's about all the time we've got for Inside Corporate Troy. Again, I'm Ara Tapuzian with the Troy Chamber of Commerce. You can visit us online at troychamber.com. Until next time, thank you. <laughs>